Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back. It's Travis here with JT Wealth. Have you ever thought to yourself, maybe if I just knew what the millionaires and the billionaires out there were buying, then I could really grow my portfolio? Well, what if I told you $75 billion under management is how much this billionaire has to deal with on a daily basis? And she just chose these three strong buy stocks to add to her portfolio. We're going to talk about those three in today's video. So let's get into it. All right, guys, like I said, welcome back. Thanks so much for checking out the channel and today's video. If you find some value in today's video, do me a favor, take two seconds out of your day, smash the like button for me and consider subscribing to the channel as well. Also, if you're new to investing and looking to open up your own portfolio or looking for a new portfolio, check out some of the links in the description section down below to various different sites where you can do just that. I'm not going to tell you which one to choose, but by using those links, it really helps out the channel. So we appreciate it. Also, if you want to join the Patreon group, the link to that is also down below where you can join up and chat with like-minded people about all things finance related. Also, you'll have direct access to us in the event you want to ask us a specific, a specific question we might not have time to answer here in the YouTube uh, comment section. All that being said, let's jump right into the article we're talking about today, and this one comes directly from Tip Ranks. Here it is. And it says, Kathy Wood pulls the trigger on these three strong buy stocks. Well, obviously, you probably have heard the name Kathy Wood. If you haven't, she's the founder and CEO of the $75 billion asset manager, ARK Invest, and it's one of Wall Street's most influential investors due to her stock picking power and her company's impressive returns. Wood says, as long as we don't fall into a recession, the markets are poised for a long bull market. And of course, that's an interesting forecast because we are at the top of a very long bullish trend here with the S&P and the markets on a whole. But when top investors like Kathy Wood start talking, the market listens. And basically what they did here in this article is looked at Kathy Wood's recent investments and compared them to the tip ranks charts to determine which of those investments is seen as a strong buy across the board by most of the analysts tracking those stocks. And here are the three we're talking about today. Number one on the list is WalkMe, ticker symbol WKME, and it's one of the high-tech world's unicorn companies. They're currently valued at $1.8 billion and holds a niche in the SaaS segment, and the company offers code-free digital adoption platforms, or DAP, that provides users with in-software instructions for web, mobile, and desktop apps. In effect, their products walk the user through the app. The company boasts that it improves sales and conversion rates, reduces the cost to support centers, and improves the end user's experience and productivity. They were launched back in 2012, but didn't go public until earlier this year, taking advantage of the summer's bull market. The company put 9.25 million shares on the market, raising $287 million in the process. And as you can see here, TipRanks is giving it a strong buy score based on five financial analysts' ratings. They're currently trading at around 2282, but have over 61% upside in the next 12 months to an average analyst forecasted price target of $36.80. Wood is obviously bullish on this unicorn's forward prospects. Her fund acquired the new position in the third quarter. They bought 118,336 cents, which at current prices is over $2.62 million. Now, five-star analyst Patrick Walravens of JMP Securities also likes what he's seeing. The analyst rates the WKME stock an outperform or buy along with his $39 price target, which would be a 64% upside in the coming months. Now, should the target be met, a 12-month gain in the shape of a whopping 76% could be in store. All right, on to the second stock we're talking about today, also a strong buy, Cognate Software. Now, Cognite Software, tip, ticker symbol CGNT, is next on the list. This is a spin-off company that started trading independently back in February. Now, at that time, it was spun off from Verint to handle the parent company's defense-related intelligence and cyber activities. Since then, Cognite has taken on the challenge of providing high-end solutions for cybersecurity threats and data protection. Now, for those of you that have been around and watching my videos for a little while, you may recall when I did a video on Palantir, 
back when it was IPOing. Um, I had mentioned that I used it through my career in the intelligence world over the last 15 years with the military um, as a contractor, as a government employee. I can't say the same for Cognite Software. This is not a platform I'm intimately familiar with, but it is intriguing and I'm sure it's being used ad nauseum throughout the community. Looking at the tip ranks chart for ticker symbol CGNT, it's trading around $21.5 today, but it has three strong buy ratings and an over 57% potential upside in the next 12 months to an average analyst price target of $34. All right, so this is a cybersecurity company. They have a solid reputation, even though they're going through some growing pains as it turns to independent existence and looking at sound long-term prospects. Now, Kathy Wood knows all of this, but she's obviously bent towards the tech stocks. In reflecting a new position for the fund, Wood's ARK Invest bought up 144,092 shares of the Cognite stock in her third quarter, the value of which lands at around $3.17 million based on current evaluations. Now, Cognite shares saw a sell-off after the September quarter release, but at least one of these analysts believes the investors really overdid it. Mike Sikos of Needham Investments says, We attribute the sell-off in shares to the larger fourth quarter revenue hurdle for management to achieve its full year target. What's important to note is that there's a shift in revenue fulfillment from the third to the fourth quarter based on few customers' requests to delay delivery of Cognite software solutions based on customer readiness. It's based on customer requests to delay, not based on Cognite's operations or their ability to deliver. We continue to believe the post earnings sell-off and subsequent pressure on its shares is overdone. Now these comments back up his buy rating and his $36 price target, suggesting the stock has room for up to 64% growth by this time next year. And of course, 64% growth up even from the average of 57% growth. This is definitely a stock you're going to want to keep on your radar. All right, the third and final stock we're talking about today is InnoViz Technologies. Now, ticker INVZ or InnoViz Technologies is another tech stock, but this one has a much more hands-on approach. They're a producer of LiDAR systems for the automotive market. And these advanced sensor systems, LiDAR of course standing for light detection and ranging, were originally developed for cartographic applications, allowing aircraft and satellites to create highly accurate topographic maps but they have been adapted by automobile manufacturers as the eyes of the cars and are now vital technology in the autonomous vehicle niche. Trading well below $10, INVZ is at $7.32, give or take since I took this image, right? But they have strong buy ratings of all three analysts tracking this stock, giving it over 41% upside in the next 12 months to an average analyst price target of $10.33. So you stand to make over $3 a share with this stock should the analyst's forecast come to fruition. Now the products InnoViz actually operates are the InnoViz 1 and the InnoViz 2. They're solid state LiDAR sensors specifically designed for automotive applications. They're rugged, lightweight, and compatible with level 3 through 5 autonomous vehicles. InnoViz 1 is one on the market now, and InnoViz 2 is scheduled for launch before the year's end. The products have market applications in a range of niches, from trucking to robo-taxis to consumer vehicles and even in industrial drones, sidewalk delivery tech, and heavy machinery. So those of you familiar with Kathy Wood, ARK Invest, and her extremely bullish prospects for the Tesla stock and EVs as a whole should see no shock as to why she would be deeply invested in a stock providing the LiDAR that would work towards these EVs and autonomous vehicles or autonomous taxis, which of course is her extremely bullish case for Tesla in the long run. As such, Kathy Wood was impressed enough to buy up 352,000 816 shares of this company in the third quarter. At current value, that stake is worth $2.36 million. All right, guys, so those are the three stocks I wanted to bring to you today. As ARK Invest's Kathy Woods continues to make purchases and tip ranks helps you guys determine which of those is seen as a strong buy across the financial analyst world. Now, as always, I'm not a financial analyst. I'm not telling you guys to buy or sell any of the equities we mentioned today or anything at all for that matter. I'm just here to provide information and entertainment only. So always do your own due diligence. If this kickstarts your thoughts, 
and your investments into the research of these companies, fantastic. But I'm not telling you to purchase anything, right? These are not recommendations. So stop saying you followed my recommendations in the comment section. <laughs> All right, guys. Until next time, as always, bottoms up.